Hi guys, so we've got some exciting news to share with you. It is now possible to remap the F-Series BMW cars through the OBD port without opening the ECU physically and locking it. Now up till this point, if you weren't in the UK and you wanted to remap, uh, you would have to send your ECU to us in, in to our headquarters in Luton. We would have to open the ECU, physically unlock it, and then send uh, Evolve our cable to you so you could flash any updates. So it's now possible for us to tune it in the old way, which is we would send our Evolve our cable to you. You would then use a Windows-based laptop uh, with a USB cable connected to the computer and then this connected to the car. Read out your ECU identification, send it over to us, and then we can basically build up the file, your stage one or your stage two, on your M2, your F80, M3, M4, and F10, M5. At the moment, it covers the M cars. We are going to also cover uh, the diesels and hopefully in the future, uh, the B48 and the B58 engines. But that's a couple of months away. So I'll just show you how the flashing process works. If you're familiar with the product, it's the same as the old way. So you would have read out your ECU, sent it to us. Now to program the file in, you can see the cable's connected to the OBD port, it's flashing away, telling you it's connected. Laptops connected to the power source as well, and I've loaded the Evolve R software already. So you need to turn the ignition on, and on modern BMWs the key needs to be inside the car, and ignition on means that the fuel gauge is showing and the warning lights are on. Um, I'll just switch it off. Okay. So you go to program ECU memory option. We need to go there and what we want to do is select the correct file. There we go. There's a file for this car. I'm going to load in our stage two update file. So select the file, open and it's going to bring up a progress bar. So on the old method where we'd physically unlock the ECU and then flash in, we'd just be flashing in the data area. Now on this method, we have to flash in the whole file. So on the old method, it would take about 1 minute 30. On this, on this ECU and the M4, M3 ECU, it takes about 6 minutes. And on the F10 M5, it takes around 16 minutes, so double the time. Um, it is advisable to have a battery tender on the car if you have it available, but if you use your car quite regularly and the battery is kind of up to scratch, it's not really a big problem. So as you can see, the fuel pump's wearing. Um, there's lots of faults on the dash and on the iDrive, so that's completely normal. So now the car has been flashed with our stage two. So the last step of the process is to switch the ignition off. And wait for that toggle to come down. And that's it. The ECU has been successfully programmed. Um, so we have the cables in stock now. We know there's going to be a massive demand for it, so bear with us for any shipping delays. But as I said, guys, F-Series, true OBD, without opening the ECU, without drilling holes in it, you know, purely just through the diagnostics port is now available. Uh, you can see more details on evolveautomotive.com if you're based in the UK or Europe, or if you're in the States, evolvetuning.us.